Hi paper crafters! In today's video I'm going to create a circle Christmas card and I'm going to incorporate a real birch tree bark in my project to create a really fun texture. So let's get started! For a card base I'll be using these three dies from Circle Card Builder die set by Paper Discovery. I've die cut two large circles plus a plain frame out of blue cardstock and I have also created a lacy frame using all three dies out of white cardstock. Now I'm going to use some liquid glue and adhere the lacy frame onto the blue background. And by the way, the largest circle diameter is five and a half inches, so this card is going to fit into the six by six standard envelope. I'm placing a six by six acrylic block onto the frame and this way I can press the die cuts down. Now I'm going to set the frame aside and start working on a background. This piece of bark is from the fallen birch tree. I just uh, picked it up, brought it home, rinsed it with water and let it dry. And now it's ready to go on a project. It both looks and behaves really similar to a cardstock. You can totally use liquid glue with it, but it takes some time to dry, so I'll be using the hot glue gun. I'm going to attach some strips of bark all across the background of my card, so I'm applying some glue onto it, sticking it down, and then I can trim off the excess with the scissors. Just like the cardstock, the bark is great for cutting with the scissors as well as for tearing. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear the remaining bark into smaller strips and I'm going to attach them onto the background, leaving some space between the strips. I'm repeating this process until I have covered the entire background with the bark. And as always, you can find the list of tools and supplies that I'm using down below in the description box, as well as on my blog. As I'm sticking down the pieces of bark, I'm making sure I'm leaving a border about one quarter of an inch all around the outline of my card. I think this way it will be more convenient to use the double-sided tape later on. This is what our background looks like at the moment. This bark creates a very nice texture and it is also really pleasant to touch. It's a pleasure to hold it in your hands. And now I'm going to attach some double-sided tape at the wrong side of the circle frame. I'm cutting a piece of tape alongside in two and uh, this way I can make it thinner. It's basically a little bit less than quarter of an inch. Then I'm removing the liner from all sides and this way the tape becomes pliable and I'm going to stick it down along the outer edge of my frame. And now I'm going to attach the frame onto the background. I love how the natural bark gives our project a lot of character, but the frame creates a finished look. And now let's work on the back side of the card base. I'm placing the remaining circle into the scoring board and I'm creating the first crease line at about half an inch mark. Then I'm also making another line at about eighth of an inch on the other side. These two lines should be parallel. Next, I'm going to trim the small tab with the scissors completely off. Then I'm going to fold the card along the remaining creased line and this way I'm creating a half of an inch rounded tab. Then I'm applying some liquid glue onto that tab only and I'm going to stick it down at the wrong side of uh, the card front. And now it's time to add some focal images as well as the sentiment. And I'll be using uh, the paper discovery die sets called Burden Branch and uh, Bamboo Trellis Corner. 
I've die cut the joyful word out of red cardstock three times and now I'm going to trim it down to only leave the joy so that it will fit the Christmas card. Then I'm going to layer all three die cuts using some liquid glue and this way I can make this sentiment a little bit more dimensional. Now I'm sticking down my sentiment right onto the bark background and uh, I'm using just the uh, ordinary liquid glue. This one uh, I'm using is Ranger Multimedia Matte, but you can use any white glue and uh, any paper glue in general. They will work with the wood as well. I've die cut some branches out of black cardstock and some birds out of red. And now I'm going to arrange the branches around my sentiments so that they fill the background. And then I'm sticking them down with the liquid adhesive as well. Then I'm adding some birds exactly the same way using the liquid glue. And the last step is filling in the empty spots. So I'm trimming down the branches into smaller pieces, applying some liquid glue, and I'm uh, sticking them down onto the remaining empty spaces. And that finishes my project for today. This is how the card looks like, because we have trimmed down that small piece from the back side of the card, it's not rolling from side to side when it's standing on the surface. It was a really simple project to make, but it looks really unique because we have added some natural textures. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because the next video is coming out tomorrow. See you then!